There is speculation that Arizona rancher Robert Krenz was murdered by a suspected illegal alien. That is prompting calls to step up security at the U.S.-Mexican border. Arizona Senators John McCain and John Kyle say they have a 10-point border plan to stop the violence along our southern border. Arizona Senator John McCain uh, joins us right now. Senator McCain, you have you over the campaign, even when you're running for president. Listen, I understand. I heard the American people. It's secure the border first. Is there even more of an urgency now? Well, it's more of an urgency now because the violence has escalated. Uh, it's all indications are that Robert Krentz was uh, killed by a drug uh, person. Three American citizens were murdered in Juarez. The, the uh, step up of <coughs> the increase in violence by the drug people as they come across Arizona. When, by the way, there was 1.3 million pounds of marijuana, of marijuana intercepted last year just down in Tucson. That the violence is escalating and. Uh, we have broken borders, and we need the guard down there. We need increase in border patrol. We need surveillance. We need a lot of things that John and Kyle and I talked about yesterday. Yeah, and one of the things that's being talked about uh, down there is perhaps a bill or a law, where is if somebody suspicious uh, doesn't have ID, they could be arrested. But the critics, as you know, Senator, are saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute, that's racial profiling. Well, that's a state legislative action, as you know, and, and uh, the fact is that the state is acting and the governor is acting out of frustration because the federal government's responsibility is to secure the borders, and our borders are not secure. 241,000, over 241,000 illegals were apprehended in just the Tucson sector last year alone. And so uh, you can imagine the people of the Arizona are angry and frustrated, and that's reflected in their legislature and the governor. Senator, you've taken the lead before in immigration reform, and a lot of people uh, were upset by it, but you, you do what you think is right and let the chips fall where they may. Now, if immigration reform is offered up by the White House, will you get involved, uh, will put both feet in? And if so, what elements have to be in it to get Senator McCain's support? We have to get the border uh, secured first. I mean, it, it, the, again, the violence has escalated. The drug cartels is in a, a threat to the very existence of the Mexican government. We have uh, this incredible violence that's taking place. 22,000 Mexican citizens have been killed since Calderon has been present by these drug cartels. Yeah. So we've got to get the border secured first, and that has to be our, our utmost and first priority. Well, let me ask you, uh, before you go, about one other thing, and sure. that is a couple of your colleagues in the Senate, uh, Snow, or rather uh, Collins and Lieberman, uh, issued subpoenas yesterday. They want to know, they're not getting anything from the White House regarding uh, Major Hassan down at Fort Hood. Did the government know anything that could have stopped it? In your estimation, is the White House stonewalling, and do you think the subpoena is a good idea? Well, uh, uh, Joe Lieberman and Susan Collins would not have issued these subpoenas if they didn't feel frustrated. They are not the kind to, you know, that leap into something. They've been trying for months to get the information they think is necessary for them to carry out their duties as, as chair and co-chair of the Homeland Security Committee. So I think it's clear that the, they feel these subpoenas are necessary because they're not getting the information through the normal methods. Uh, Senator McCain, you have a five-point lead on J.D. Hayworth. You said you like a good campaign. You're in the middle of a big fight, and it's going to be a long one through a 100-degree summer, but you're used to the Arizona heat and tough times. Uh, Senator McCain, always great having you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. You bet. All right.